Hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? We're going to do another whip and chat here with uh, Timu's Stained Glass Cardinals or JY907. It's a 30 by 40 round. You might hear background noise from the shop downstairs underneath where I am. But yeah, my dad might be going for lunch soon. I had lunch, watched a bit of. Uh, MSNBC and fed my fed axle and then came back out here. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sneak another whip and chat in here. We started on 817, the red, uh, capital O. So, alright. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful day and your crafting and other endeavors are going well. Alright. This O is kind of scattered too. We get reds here and there. It's a nice vibrant red. Yeah. Let's turn that light on. It was brighter earlier, but now the sun, it's noon, closer to noon, so. Or it is noon. <laughs> it's a 10 or 11 when I. Did the previous whip and chat today, so yeah, the sun's a little higher and it's not shining through the window. Uh, it's basically a blue sky, so I uh, really don't see any clouds at the moment. So, so I go from hearing that new Linkin Park song, The Empty Emptiness Machine or whatever, to a couple other <laughs> rock alternative kind of uh, songs, like right after on YouTube music. It just, like, I heard a couple new songs that I, like, never heard before. And I ended up liking them because they were similar to that of Linkin Park. <laughs> of course, in the end, by Linkin Park played like right after the emptiness machine by that new female vocalist. But yeah, and then it kind of shuffled around a bit <laughs> for like similar music and stuff. So because I just hit autoplay, so. Depending on what song you start with on YouTube music, you kind of just get a random playlist. Just pre-selected songs for you that just go on continuous play until you like hit pause. Or you can just continue from where you left off on their list if you exit out of the app. I usually find a favorite song and then start from there and then... Yeah, kind of branches off into my favorite songs some of the time, and yeah. But <clears throat> there are days where I just let it go on shuffle on purpose just to hear something new or discover. <laughs> A new artist or group. So that's how I explore listening to music. Nice thing to do every once in a while, just kind of let the playlist just kind of wander a bit. Because <laughs> it is possible to get stuck in a genre of music and yeah, just hear songs in that genre, but not different genres. Uh, I do get stuck in the pop, the popular top 40 kind of music quite a bit because it's just so common uh, I'll do capital E next uh, that'd be 12 uh, 918 yep yeah it can be pretty easy to yeah listen to Post Malone or Taylor Swift Justin Bieber Selena Gomez, yeah. The Weeknd, Billie Eilish. Um, 
Machine Gun Kelly, yeah, Lincoln Park, <laughs> Evanescence, yeah. Even though those, those are different genres, there's like popular songs that just play like all the time. Capital E, this one's kind of scattered. Some of it's in the branches here and yeah. There will always be certain uh, tracks or songs that just get overplayed. Just notoriously overplayed on the radio. So it's nice just like hearing it once to kind of throughout the day. But you like heard. Like, if I'm, like, driving in the car and know I've already heard, like, a song, like, half an hour ago, you know somebody's either requesting it or they just want to play that music or the host, the radio VJ switched or something. And they like that song, too. That's really popular. That gets pretty annoying for like the amount of music that's out there, undiscovered or independent artists. They just don't get airtime. So, I don't know. They could be playing on like Spotify or like digital uh, music apps, but. Not mainstream, you just kind of discover some artists by accident, which I have done quite a bit. That's a lot more common than just hearing an artist, a new unknown artist on the radio. It, yeah. You kind of have to establish yourself, yeah, not on the mainstream, but like just in the background, and then build your repertoire before you can be like on everyday radio it seems I don't that's you just have to kind of keep promoting yourself for your group band music material <laughs> in order to get stay on people's radar but yeah like anything else really yeah. you just kind of keep establishing yourself you keep working at it to become visible <laughs> alright this is just in the bottom part of the female cardinal spotty yeah, it's ease just make it a cameo in this section just a uh, here and there detail kind of color minor detail kind of color a garnish if you will mm. Yeah, there's some in like a branch or something over here too, but yeah, just a color that just pops in for a few minutes for a visit. Yeah, it's kind of like a lighter brown, I guess.
think that's all for capital E. Possibly. <laughs> Been known to be wrong. Yeah, that was just very brief cameo cone of color. This time around. Each looks as if it's next. Yeah, I'll just twelve. Okay, H eighteen. Yeah, thirty-eight, fifty-eight. Yeah. <laughs> Each just like a darker brown. It's hanging out on the branches here. Some of the leaves. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Drills look so crooked. <laughs> it's just the way it's sitting on the leaf. Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of the art in the background just kind of shows around the drills and it just kind of makes them look crooked. Mm. Right, H. Yeah, this H is a brief cameo color, kind of color. Brown's just making a brief appearance. Just here and there. Okay. Be probably putting this H way fairly soon. <laughs> kind of thing. Just like the E. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I definitely expect a brown to be in a tree branch, so that's exactly where this seems to be going. Okay, H. Let's make our way up the branch again. Climb the branch. Oops. Maybe. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. Oh, it's a slidey part. The adhesive. Yeah, I don't get why that's a very slidey part. The canvas. Wow. I don't know if my mom has any new. Uh, Hallmark movies to watch this afternoon. Uh, might have been yesterday when Hallmark uh, had a new uh, romance movie uh, premiere on W. Fall into Love or something. Uh, yeah. I think is their movie selection for a few weeks there. Uh, H. 
Yeah, those made-for-TV movies, the two-hour. <laughs> somehow pick up two drills or that's where that drill went it's that slipped out of the tweezers the one drill okay H ah wow just <laughs> I've had a couple whipping chats where I was just fighting to get drill the drill to stay still on the tweezers the edge of the tweezers. <laughs> this is kind of turning into one of those times again. Yeah, it's amazing that I'm still able to grab round drills with tweezers, but I've had to go to tweezers because the wax just was not e adhering to the drills at all. Uh, the applicator pen method was not working for this. For these drills, they're not faceted, so. I I don't know if they're like, the drills are dirty per se. But that was, that suggestion was put forward. I couldn't really tell, <laughs> per se. But, yeah, that's one of a possible explanation, but. I think there's just not very many facets in these round drills, if at all, that probably just smooth faceted side, smooth top side of the drill, the one opposite the flat side that goes onto the adhesive. Yeah. Probably just because the drills are so smooth that the wax just can't adhere. It's almost like you have to have extra wax or something to pick up the drill, but I just do the standard dip. What fits in the tip of the diamond painting pen is what I do, and I usually don't have any issues, but this time around I have had issues getting drills to pick up on the wax. Wow, just having a good time with the brown today. <laughs> Slippery. Yeah, this has just basically been every other Sunday that I have off, just low key and yeah, just a normal kind of Sunday, <laughs> lazy Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of wrote down the challenges I'm working on for my uh, walking challenges. Conquer Te Aurora. Te Aurora. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, basically New Zealand. Going uh, north to south across New Zealand. Just east, northeast of Australia. Off of Australia or east. I had to look at I had to look at the app. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I had to cough there, sorry. <clears throat> and then Jordan Trail, uh South of the UK and north of Africa. It's just in between there. So <clears throat> Yeah, I, yeah, again, I just doing longer distance challenges. Like, I have to buy a couple 
of the smaller challenges to kind of get a pretty good distance. I have to buy like three or four challenges at a time to kind of match like the number of kilometers I generally go. <laughs> I believe Terra Aurora is like 3,000 something kilometers. One of these is. I think it's Terra Aurora. One of them is like, yeah, 3,000 kilometers in total. I like those kind of challenges. I like longer term fitness challenges. So that's why I chose it. It's the next longest. <laughs> a little more economical to do longer challenges than not of small challenges there was a challenge that was 25 kilometers like New York for example like virtually going through New York or whatever however that works the city I guess yeah I could do that and in like inside of two hours on the indoor bike like that I'd have to do the metal claim stuff and then get another challenge, but not for like 40 something American <laughs> every time. Basically. <laughs> okay, I think that was all for H. Yeah, it was just a minor detail kind of thing. Basically in the tree branch and a couple other locations. Uh, capital. Uh, G. Okay. 898. Okay. Let's make sure though. Yep. Uh, number 10. Uh, 10, 898. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Always way more drills than I probably will need. <laughs> Always do that. Okay, right. capital G. Yeah, couple on the Cardinal's wings here. Or wing. <laughs> I was having trouble uh, telling the difference between a wing and a tail, but yeah, <laughs> before. <laughs> yeah, geez, just kind of hanging out. Some bordering the leaf, leaf here. Yep, there you go. Yeah, tons of background on this. It seems it's a lot of background. <laughs> the canvas right now so <laughs> okay there yeah we're just apparently filling in the branch this time <laughs> we're 
every other where we are color was. <laughs> Gee. Yeah, I guess there are a lot of max jackpot up here in Canada was like $75 million. Now it's like going to cap at $80 million. I think it's a new uh, jackpot cap for Lotto Max. They recently changed up here in Canada. It's the amount of uh, money one person or a group can win uh, for our lottery up here. Yeah. The U.S. has Powerball, and you can get into the billions of dollars, I think, for that. Or pretty high amounts of money. Yeah, it kind of works like that. It's kind of our version of Powerball. But the jackpots aren't as uh, in the billions of dollars or, or multi-million. <laughs> I don't think they've hit a billion in Powerball, have they? Uh, in the U.S.? No, I think it's just multi-million. Yeah, looking at the United States as a whole, like, yeah, no wonder the Powerball jackpot just climbs. It's monumental, <laughs> lottery-wise. Yeah, the, ooh. I'm going show the tickets down there, like, $3 or something. Yeah, Lotto Max is five dollars Canadian up here, so lottery was. Uh I just made it into the Friday draw. Uh only because I ended up with a free play on one of my uh previous Lotto Max draw tickets, so I got to participate in that seventy five million dollar draw the last Friday. I think it's Tuesdays and Fridays that they do the draws up here for Lotto Max. There are other lotteries for sure. Yeah. There's Lotto 649. Yeah, but Lotto Max is usually the one I play. Lotto 649 has been around longer than Lotto Max. Little Max's uh, few years young, roughly five, six years old. G. Yeah, wasn't very much G. It's another detail. Browns in here just seem to be short lived, like in the branches and stuff. But yeah. And yeah, the odd sprinkle into the plumage of the Cardinals, but. Just very brief. <laughs> Bursts of brown in, in here in this canvas. Uh, I think F is next. Yeah, it's a very brief cameo on the leaves here, do you? Alright, 12, 11, 10. Uh, okay, capital F. That's 15. 15. Uh, somewhat dark green. Yeah, very brief cameo on the leaves. All right, but yeah, you've been watching Aquas of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put the main website links for Conqueror and Pacer. Kind of what I mentioned earlier. Uh, for those two virtual challenges. Yeah, the websites will, are just the main websites. I'm not... Uh, affiliated or partnered with Conqueror or Pacer in any way, so just information purposes only, so just 
something to check out if you're curious. Have some questions about the virtual challenges. So, any updates regarding Echoes of Color will just be on YouTube. So, feel free to hit, click on the no notification bell or subscribe to get those updates. So, it's just every now and then. I do star photos all kitted up of a whip I'm going to work on, work in progress in other words. Uh, quick section completion updates, like if I were to finish this section I'd take a photo and then name the canvas etc etc. Diamond painting company size, yeah. And kind of explain what's going on in the section, like some features of the section. And then once the canvas is complete, you know, I post a finished photo and then just begin the cycle again anew with the, another work in progress canvas. So that's basically the cycle of the uh, Echoes of Color here. So other than that, take care, all the best with your crafting endeavors. And I will see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>